Graham, I don't really know where to start. What was your assessment of that 9,800 minutes of football? Well, we've seen a, a fabulous attacking performance. Um, the boys have really shown their quality on the ball and, and going forward. A lot of incision, um, a lot of thrust, a lot of quality and, and a lot of clinicality. Uh, at the other end, obviously three disappointing goals to concede. Um, the beauty, I think, of the, of the entire afternoon is that there's so much room for improvement. I was turning to the bench constantly and saying, get me that clip, get me that clip, get me that clip, get me that clip. There's all simple things, simple habits that we can change so very easily. There's a great bunch of uh, learning players in there. And uh, you know, with some, some adjustment, um, they can become very, very good players. So um, it's exciting to be a part of a squad that can play football like that. And, and in patches, it was exhilarating. Um, but at the same time, it's got that level of improvement that's possible. It seems um, literally a lifetime ago, but we made such a good start to the game, obviously, to get two goals in the first 17 minutes and two fantastic goals as well. Yeah, at my age, you can't, uh, you can't remember that far back. I'm, uh, I'm starting to get to the point where I can't remember the first half at the end of the game. But uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a great start. It was the type of start you want at home. We want to be able to get out of the blocks. We want to be able to take the game to people. Um, what we need to be able to do is to sustain it. And uh, you know that's, a, that's the physical factor where we've got to make sure that we get on top of our, of our fitness levels and can really drive at games and, and put sides to the sword. Because having got that advantage, you don't want to let them back in. I thought after half-time uh, we showed a, a lack of maturity probably. Um, and that's you know, inevitable with the, the, the age of some of the players. And there's, there's simple habits you know, in terms of man marking, we've been caught out again. Simple habits that they need to learn. Um, we've talked through this week. Um, the habits that we want instilled and, and how they can become meta band markers but it's obvious that there's issues in that regard so there's work to be done but uh, as I say easy things to iron out and uh, what you can't give players is uh, the ability to go and do some of the things Alice can do there's some brilliant football some brilliant goals and uh, you, can't, you just can't manufacture that um, it's either in you or it's not in my opinion um, so we've got that that we're working with add the simple things um, there's a hell of a side in, in the making yeah, it's a blow losing losing Ben Annick because obviously he's, he's your first choice goalkeeper. And obviously the young lad on the bench coming on uh, first faced a bit of a baptism of fire with the amount of set pieces they had, and obviously the disappointment of of conceding goals from set pieces. Well, he'll learn though. The uh, you know the thing with any young player, they've got to be allowed to learn. They've got to be allowed to make mistakes. Um, those those decisions that perhaps in the youth team don't cost him, um, you know, at first team level will. So uh, he'll it'll be a fantastic learning experience for him. And uh, he's a terrific lad. He's, he's, he's a, a lad that is going to be coveted by the top clubs. There's no question about that. We've, uh, we've got a lot of people looking at him already. And uh, he's going to go on to have a, a fabulous career. He's a, he's a willing learner. Uh, got a great size. He's a, a very good shot stopper. Um, making decisions in first team football is, uh, is something that he's got to learn. Yeah, you've talked about John Taylor quite a lot since you've obviously come into the building and, and about the quality that he can bring. And he showed that today, didn't he? He was man of the match, um, according to those that voted, and uh, you couldn't argue with it. He was uh, he was terrific. Uh, he wants to get on the ball. Um, he's bright and decisive and thrusting with the ball. I played him inside today rather than wide, and you know when he gets at goal, he's very difficult to handle. He's he's so powerful and and so quick, and he's got such great quality in his feet. He was um, he was fabulous for the team today, and uh, he's got to make sure that that's his minimum standard. Yeah, and just finally, if that goal had gone in at the end, would that have been probably the, the perfect goal you're ever going to score? Well, in fairness, we didn't score a bad one just before it, did we? Number five. It was a uh, super team effort, some brilliant quality from Madison. And, uh, you know, the team rounded it off. I, I was pleased with them. I, I said to them at half-time, uh, one of the things that impressed me about them when I watched them at Oldham was uh, at 2-0, uh, they conceded. And the reaction to conceding was a really mature one. They, they kept the ball on the floor. They kept working the football. They kept passing their way forward. And uh, that takes a lot, of, a lot of confidence. It takes a, a lot of courage, a lot of character. And they showed that. And I thought a 2-2 today, they could easily have wobbled. They could easily have uh, given in to that early pressure they brought on us. But instead, they, they showed patience, they showed quality and a real desire to go and win the football match. And I'm, I'm sure the fans will go away tonight thinking they've got a team that cares.